All right, next skill. We talked about that regression line or line of best fit, the line that the dots are kind of following along. This section is all about how do you come up with the equation of that line and what are some things you can do with that. So that's what we're going to talk about first. The line, regression line equation is always in the format. We say A equals uh, sorry, y equals ax plus b. And you might see all those letters and think, well, I can't do algebra, but you, you can't. So what I want you to know is you will always use the letter y in that spot, and you will always use the letter x in that location. And what will change from problem to problem is what your a value is and what your b value is. And the a value is the slope of that line. That's a number that indicates how steep that line is. If it's positive, you have an uphill line. If the slope, if your A value is negative, it means you have a downhill line. B is um, called something called the y-intercept. It, it's at the location where your line will touch that y-axis, that vertical axis. Uh, your technology is going to come up with the regression line equation for you. You just have to understand how to pull it from the technology and make sense from it. So let's go to the calculator with an example. All right, this, picture, this uh, graph should be familiar to you. We started the chapter with it. So this is that example of we've taken all the months in a year, or a business person has, and they've, they've talked about their sales of that month and their advertising dollars spent. Now, obviously in the business world, sales fluctuate with time of year. So this would have to be something that um, is known not to fluctuate from time to time. So you, you wouldn't you want to use this graph to try to predict how much sales and advertising uh, on snow shovels because obviously the time of month is going to have more to do with what your sales are than anything else. So this would only be a way to predict sales or required advertising dollars for things that were not affected by month, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about how to get that regression line equation from this information. I've already entered the data because I didn't want to waste your video time. And so you see um, that first column of sales is in my L1. The second column of advertising dollars is in L2. I do want you to know that I have, by doing this in that order, I have indicated that the L1 is my X values. Those will be graphed on your X axis, your horizontal. And the second column are my Y. So what order you put them in is I'm choosing what my X and Y are. So if I want to get the equation, you already know how to do it. You hit stat. You go to calculate. I'm going to that linreg, the linear regression, AX plus B. You might have a calculator that also has linreg bx plus a. Do not choose the bx plus a. We want ax plus b. Um, I have l1 comma second l2. Hit enter. Now this is what you did to find r. And so notice that I have a 0.89 correlation coefficient. That makes it a strong positive. If you have a strong connection, whether it's positive or negative, then this regression equation information will be helpful to you. So what I'm interested now for the regression line, there's that y equals ax plus b I told you about. What they're giving you is, what's the a value? They're giving you the number to put in for a, and they're giving you the number to put in for b. Obviously, you have a lot of decimal places. Let's just use three decimal places for this example. So my a value is 0.057. My B value is negative, don't miss that negative, negative 0.344 if I round to three decimal places. So 057344. So that's what we came up with. So for the linear regression line, you always write the variable Y, Y equals. Now I'm going to put that A number, 0 0.057. And remember, you always have the letter X. So that means the slope of my line is 0.057. And then you put the v, B value. Now, I wouldn't put plus and then this negative because the answer is negative. So I'm going to put minus and then go ahead and put 0.344. So that is the equation of the regression line. So on the next slide, let's go one step further and how can you use the regression line equation to make predictions. Actually, we'll just make that a separate video altogether.